What's up everybody? Gosh, it is really bright out here. But it, today is an exciting day because we are going to hear from the Walton Penner ownership group as they are officially the new owners of the Denver Broncos. It came became official yesterday, but they're officially here. How many times can I say official in one thing? They're here in Denver, so let's go to their introductory press conference. Is anyone else seriously ready for football weather? Because this like 98 degree weather is killing me. Andrew Mason, how are you? Go ahead, are you ready for this press conference? Not quite. You know, I don't think this fit really works for- Gonna go change? I'm just gonna go make a quick change into something more muted. Mace has been such a great addition to our team. He's so fun. He's so knowledgeable. He's been wonderful. NFL Networks are here too. And guys over there. Thank you. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, big day. Big day, it's yeah. an exciting day. I still have a hat on. Should I take my hat? I don't know, Mace went and changed. He changed? He actually changed. Oh my God. I know. Yeah, I think I look okay. You're look, probably fine. Get other shorts and put on a button shirt. Should I button up though? He's Maybe got, I should button. He's got the chest hair popping out no, a little. No, all right, I'll do, a, I'll do an extra button though, to be respectful. What's your big question? Do you want me to tell you what it is? Sure. Now? One of the things that I've felt from a lot of listeners and people is they don't like the concept of rich people making them pay for new stadiums, that they should finance it themselves. And Stan Kroenke did finance it himself, mm -hmm. whereas the Bills are taking public funds to finance the stadium. So not that they're going to answer a specific stadium question, like, are you going to build one? But philosophically, do you think it's on you to shoulder that burden if you move forward? Great question. I love it. All right, good see, question. see if I get to get it out there. Because DMAC asks so many good questions, he doesn't always get the mic when he wants to. I already tried to. I've done some preemptive work, though. <laughs> He's trying real hard. I made it, I made it clear. We'll keep you updated if I'll he gets see. it. Here we go with the new Mace fit. Black pants. What is that? I is know. Is it Johnny Cash? <laughs> Maybe. Well, hold on. We need, to get, we need to get the front. Yeah. Mace. 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 Andrew. Oh. Okay. Just look at your fashion. Okay, Mace. What? Just look at your fashion. Okay, Mace. Yeah, Underneath. Like oh. Okay, okay Mace. Okay. Looking okay. good. Black pants. Nice Cleaned Nike jacket. Bit. I like it. On behalf of the entire organization of the Broncos, it is my pleasure to uh, introduce and welcome the Walton Penner family ownership group, Rob Walton. To his right, Kerry Walton Penner. To Kerry's right, Melody Hobson. To Melody's right, Dr. Condoleezza Rice. And on the uh, end is Greg Penner. You're gonna hear this a lot. Welcome to Broncos Country. Continued by and really built by Mr. Bolin. And we look forward to the future ahead of all of us. I have to start off by saying it is such an honor and a privilege to be an owner of this remarkable organization. It really, it is overwhelming to even think about. The moment is humbling and it's historical, and yet I feel at home. One is that you have to understand how much I love football. My dad was a football coach when I was born. I was supposed to be his all-American linebacker. 
Uh, when he got a girl, he decided to teach her about the sport on the set. And even though my father has gone to the Lord, I have to think that today he's thinking, she finally got a really important job. <laughs> Greg Penner will be the new CEO of the Broncos. He's going to get to work immediately. Uh, it's great to be here with all of you today. Uh, we could not be more excited to uh, officially take ownership of the Broncos. And we also feel a deep sense of responsibility uh, and privilege to be in this position. The Broncos are an iconic franchise that means so much to Denver, Colorado, and, and the whole region. Greg, uh, Dan Rakeep, 104.3 The Fan. Philosophically, I know you, you taught, were asked about the stadium yesterday and you said, oh, it's down the road. But philosophically, there's different ways to do it. The Rams had private funding. The Bills are taking public funding. I'm curious, philosophically, what do you think the responsibility is for ownership in terms of new developments, stadiums, facilities, that type of thing? Don't have a view on that yet. It, um, it is early. We just closed today, so part of your question was assuming we were going to build a new stadium. And, and at this point, you know, Empower Field at Mile High is a terrific facility. It's hosted world-class sporting and entertainment events. Uh, we've got a partnership with the, uh, with the stadium district, and you know, with 10 years left on our lease, we've got some time to you know, go out and see what the different options are, uh, consider everything, and then, and then make a decision. We love football. Um, you know, as, as Condi said, uh, her dad was a coach, she knows football, but we're not going to be calling plays, we're not going to be drafting players. Uh, we're going to empower this team, uh, you know, led by George Payton and Nathaniel Hackett to make those key decisions. Uh. Characteristics that you seek in a team president, and does sports experience matter in that? Uh, I think sports experience is, uh, is really important. Uh, is it absolutely essential? I'd say probably no, but it would make the bar higher to find the right person. Um, I mean, we start with general characteristics. Uh, we want somebody that really high integrity, great values, great leadership, uh, diverse set of experiences, um, someone that aligns with our values as, as uh, partners here, and um, uh, we think we can find somebody great. So what we learned was that Greg Penner will be the CEO, which is what we kind of already expected. We are getting free lunch, which is awesome, because I was going to stop at Chick-fil-A, but instead, we're going to go get free lunch and head down there. We sat down there for quite a few minutes, but I didn't want to like be the person that had to ask, but I got to go home and start editing stuff and getting a bunch of stuff together for our show tonight, Training Camp Live, 5.30, but we also need food, so like I said, quick stop to the Chick-fil-A. Number three, eight count meal, please. Of course, how much drink that? Um, lemonade with light ice. Already, anything else I'm going to get for you today? And then Chick-fil-A and ranch, please. Thank you. You too. We got the goods. All right. Well, I'm going to quickly eat and get this video up for you guys. But today, an exciting day. I think Broncos country should be very excited for what the future holds. But tomorrow, the Cowboys come into town. So we will see everybody then. Bye, everyone.